Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have got something kind of weird to show you. I'm sure you could already tell it was weird from the title. So she's appeared in one of my videos before, but for those of you who don't know, this is Evie. And there's a reason I have her on camera with me today. A couple of weeks ago, she ended up needing a pretty intense surgery. And I'll spare you the details, but um, long story short, she's um, almost completely healed now, so she's, she's doing good. Um, but we have to ch monitor the pH levels in her urine, and that's not really a fun thing to do. So, so our solution for this was to get some condiment cups and 3D print something that will help us do this. Okay, so let's head over to Tinkercad and see what we come up with. Alright guys, well these are the condiment containers we picked up. They, we just got them at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. Um, and this is what they look like. We figured this would be as good as any little receptacle to catch or pee. And so my idea was a ring that kind of clips it in there a little bit. And then little extendable pieces that we can screw together to make it however long we need. And maybe put a few angles in there. So I was just going to test this. And this one actually turned out to be a complete fail. Um, this kind of fit, but it was pretty hard to get in there and didn't want to come out. And when you're working with a cup full of pee, you don't want to be um, sloshing it around on yourself. So I went back to redesign that. And then these, I don't know what I was doing when I made these. Um, they don't even fit together correctly and the screws don't fit through the holes so complete fail on that but hey a good learning opportunity so let's head back to Tinkercad and see if we can't fix these problems Okay guys, so this was my second attempt. Let's see how this works. Alright, yeah, that seems to work much better because then we can just pop it right out much easier. And then I have two straight pieces and one that has a curve so we can kind of get an angle and we don't have to bend down quite as far because she is such a tiny dog. Okay, so I think I'm going to connect this one first. Alright, well, there it is. Um, definitely looks better than the first iteration. 
think that'll work a little bit better too. So that way when she's doing her business, we can just get in there and go underneath and won't have to be too invasive because that's kind of weird for her and uh, understandably so. So hopefully that works. I will um, spare you guys the demonstration of this. So we'll try it out and go from there. Okay, well, my wife tried it out this morning. Um, don't worry, this is a new clean cup. Um, and she said it worked pretty well. She was able to get enough in there that she could put the little strip to test the pH level. I think we'll call that a success. Now I'll put these files on Thingiverse um, just in case anyone has a use for something like this. Um, and it is extendable and you can, you know, print as many of these and keep extending it if you want because each piece can be extended. So that's kind of cool. Alright guys, well there you have it. I don't think I could have come up with a weirder concept for a video if I tried, but I figured since I was doing it anyways, I might as well make a video. And I'm not really sure why I'm posting it on Thingiverse, but maybe someone has the same issue out there. And maybe someone just needs an extendable arm to um, hold their ketchup. You never know. So I'll just put it out there. All I can say is she's lucky she's cute. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up for Evie here. That's all for me. See you next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.